Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my salvage and surplus store finds of the day. Now a little information about this salvage and surplus store. It's a couple hours away from me so it's a pretty long drive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So whenever we do get the chance to go there, I try to pick up as many interesting things as I possibly can. So there is definitely a lot more than these six high pressure sodium bulbs that you see in front of the camera. There's these bulbs to high intensity discharge ballasts to compact fluorescent adapters. So there's much, much more than what you see in front of this camera. So this will be part one. Uh, the other things will be in different parts. But anyway, this salvage and surplus store, the guy that owns it is really nice. Now some things have price tags on them and some things don't. Some things are inside of the store building and some things are out back baking in the sun. So you really get to dig around and discover different things, which I really like. I like digging around and discovering things. So um, the things that don't have prices on them, you get to like kind of haggle with the owner guy on the price for all of them. So and the owner is very very nice. So you do get very good deals. But anyway, um, these bulbs I found there. So we'll start with these two. These two are the exact same thing. They are GE 150 watt high pressure sodium. Now the interesting part about these two bulbs is look at how small that arc tube is compared to a real 150 watt high pressure sodium bulb. It definitely is a lot fatter but it's not as long so the arc isn't going to be as long. I don't know, maybe that was a design thing for the time, but I find that kind of interesting. So, of course these are used, which is fine, because I got all these high pressure sodium bulbs, and you'll see, I think, six more in another video, for $1.25 each. So that's a really good deal on these. <clears throat> but anyway, like I said, these two are the exact same thing. This one... I found in a fixture out back baking in the sun. I saw the shape of the bulb through the fixture and I thought, oh, well that's neat. It's a BT shaped high pressure sodium bulb. Now, uh, it's made by Philips Westinghouse. This is when Philips was taking over Westinghouse's uh, lighting line. So they kept the BT shape for a while until they turned to the ED shape. Those are made by GE, like I said, so they're not Phillips. Don't associate it with this one. But, um, so it's, it's kind of interesting to find these BT-shaped ones, because they're kind of rare. So, doesn't look like it has much use on it, though. Anyway, we'll move on to these two. These two are the exact same thing again. They are made by Sylvania. Let's see if we can find the etch. It's kind of faded away. There it is. You can kind of see it. There's Sylvania 70 watt high pressure sodium. That's the older etch. It's the older design for the bulb before they came out with the newer design, which I also got from there. And of course, I have many of these already. But this is the newer design. You'll see this one in a different video. See, the etch is different. Anyway, put that to the side. So these two are used, which is fine. Again, I don't really care. I mean, they work. Like I said, this one is the exact same thing. You can see the etch there. 70 watt Sylvania high pressure sodium. And this one on the end is an older, or, well, I, ha I don't really have any, well, that's the newer style etch for GE. And this was the older kind. You can see it was a circular type. And it's GE 35 watt high pressure sodium made in the USA. And this one is brand new. It just didn't have a box. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed my salvage and surplus store finds of the day, part one. So, also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.